All right, the president's rock, rank, rank, shit. They rank the bosses. The Elden Ring bosses. No, 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 fuck that. Melania's already mad at me for not giving her attention. I'm spending too much time with the boys and now you want me to rank the uh -oh. 500 Elden Ring bosses? Uh -oh. Relax, Michelle has been on my case too. We won't uh -oh. do all the bosses. Me too, my hey, wife was mad the main at me bosses. as well. I'll be honest, Joe, I forgot who your wife is. Me He's too. He's married? Okay, so we're <laughs> <all the> <laughs> Who's the first lady? There's only like 12 of them then, right? 12 is good. Yeah, that's the age you prefer, <laughs> isn't it, you slimy rat Oh bastard. my god, There's 15 in go. total, but we'll only do seven for now, because I know Joe has to leave early. Okay. Hey, sheesh, I didn't know his wife was that mad at him. So we'll start with Godric <laughs> the Grafted. Not so Godric, Godric the Grafted. More like Godric the Ass Kid. B tier. No one cares about that useless sack of shit excuse for a boss, Joe. He's the soldier of God, named Rick. Okay, so what? <laughs> I don't know, I read that online. Uh, I like memes. Godric's okay. design is pretty insane. <laughs> Lowly tarnished, playing as a lord. What great voice lines he had as well. He's a rat bastard, ugly coward. I agree. Wow. Lore says he decided to roast Millennia, but she wasn't having any of it, so she bitch slapped him and made him beg for mercy. He thinks he's wow. high and mighty, thinks everyone respects him, but no one does. No. He's actually just a massive sub bitch. Damn. Wow, that sounds like someone we know. Hey, leave Barack alone. You dumbass. Got him! I think he's a pretty great boss. Okay, B tier. Good lore. Great voice acting. Interesting boss mechanics. Our first true boss fight in Elden Ring. Part of me wants to give him an A, but there's so many good what? bosses to come, so I'll You're put him tripping. as a high B for now. You're Peter tripping. B works for me. B works for me. He got beat by a woman. Doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> I'm be sexist in 2023, Don. I would never be sexist. And besides, who's going to know what we say here? They all know. They, they all, all know. <laughs> you okay, Joe? Kooky Joe back at it again. Well, B it is. Okay. Now we're on Renala. Queen of the full moon. Renala, bro. I mean, I'm, her lore is cool. Her design is cool cool besides that hat um her spells are cool i even though she only has one you can learn but let's be honest the first phase of this bo boss is like not even fun it's just go around kill the right kid for that alone i'm deducting points they should have just started off with the boss fight on the water with the beautiful scenery um but i'm gonna go ahead and give her a I know a lot of people are gonna be upset. I think she's a C tier boss, um, but if it's put in B, that's fine. I already know Joe's ranking this as S tier for the first phase alone. I don't get it. <laughs> I Probably do. Child minions, breaker barrier, hitter. Phase two is where the real fight begins. Agreed. What a gorgeous level that was too. Gorgeous feat as well. Uh, the lore freaky. states she fought wars against Radagon and then they got married. Cool what a love story they have. Then they had three children: Radon, Rikard, and Ronnie. For fuck's sake. Really? What is it, Don? All these fucking names with R. Why does George R R R R Martin need more R? Stupid naming. <laughs> there should be a low R tier for all the stupid names in this game. <laughs> Weren't you whining when I complained about the names during the Soulsborn tier list? Wrong. You're seeing things again, Cookie. Yes. <laughs> Stop gaslighting him. Joe's going Stop to gaslighting him. him. Thanks, Barbar. Bar. Right, so I'll give Bar her Bar. B, maybe even a C. She that's what I'm saying, bro. Put her in C because, look, everybody's going to pretend the first phase doesn't exist, and that's why she's a B, a B tier. But the, th the thing is, the first phase does exist, and that's why she deserves C tier. Pretty easy for a if it didn't exist, B is I'll fine. Say B. I'll say C because she didn't show more ankle. She can go into C, but Freak. not because of what Don said. Hey, hey, you feet pervert Barack. Okay, now we have her son, Radon. God, I love his little horsey. Conqueror of look, Radon obviously is going to go in the S tier. I do believe, I do believe he deserves it. I believe it. Yeah, S tier. The stars, so S -tier. cool. At least some names do sound. But good. I feel like at the same time, Radon is an overrated boss fight. He's a he's a overrated S tier. On their own. That meteor attack, so damn iconic. That meteor attack made me realize how all those families must have felt with your drone oh strikes. Oh my bro. God! Jesus Christ! Yo, shut the fuck up. That meteor landing made me realize how much more you make the ground shake, you fat ass. My goodness, how dare you? <laughs> Shut up, guys. The boss. My fight goodness, was how amazing. dare you? S tier. Of course, you loved it. It's practically your wet dream. Nothing but summons all around. It was one of the best parties Bro. I've ever had. I summoned every single one of them, and yep. we all chased Rod on on his cute horse, Leonard. It was a blast. Leonard. <laughs> blast, huh? Just like the drone. What happened? Kicked. Did you fucking kick me? <laughs> Must have been the wind. Must I have been the Elden Ring in the past, but after actually beating it, 
I have to say, I love how they enhanced and improved every aspect of the Souls games. Into they the nerfed them, didn't they? The Radon Festival was truly such a spectacle to behold. It was. I uh, yeah, the build up to the boss, the, the, the festival part was cool as well. The cinematic was great. And then the actual boss fight was fun. Joe, the spectacle, the gravity magic, iconic meteor, the unique group summoning aspect, all his lore. It's hard not to give this an S. I'm with you both. I love Radon. I've already conquered America. But one day I'll also conquer the stars like him for real. What? For real on God? For real on Godwin. Now we're on okay. Riker. On Godwin, blasphemy. I hate bl Um, the, Another gimmick fight, just like uh, Dark Souls 3, just like Demon Souls, gimmick boss weapon. But... It is kind of fun. I would say a a tier, possibly, but I would say like maybe B tier is probably a better spot. Blasphemy, but, Lord yeah. of Fake News, D tier. Another Ooh, son damn. of Radagon and Renala. He scoffed at the status quo and turned against the greater will. That's pretty cool. Got to respect those that want to bring change. Yeah, but he's an actual sexual deviant, though. How so? Really? Have you heard of the Vore fetish? This creep literally let himself get eaten by a snake. Disgusting. <laughs> and then his ambition to change the status quo became corrupted. He decided to turn to gluttony and feed on his devout champions. Yeah, anyway, but when wow. he pulled back his foreskin snake head and revealed his ugly <laughs> literal dick face, he had to throw up. The boss fight, though, especially how cinematic the second phase felt with the sky basically on fire. Man, oh man, what a sight that was. Yeah, that was awesome. I'll give him an A. Hey, works for me as well. Well, I'm outvoted, a. but I'd give fake news Dick Snake a B. Hey, it is. Right. Who's next, Barack? It's time for Morgoth. Wow, that moment. Um, I'm not gonna lie. All three of those Morgoth, um, or whatever the fuck, all of those bosses were pretty meh. Uh, this guy, he, he's all right. Like his his design is just so fucking basic, but his fight style just it's it's good his fight style is good but the environment of the boss fight itself was like meh um i i would not be surprised if people put this guy in c plus tier low b i would also say b like he's nothing special but it's still a good fight moment during the epic reveal when he changed his name from margot to morgot wow truly amazing writing me as actors i have no idea what he intended with that name choice there it's like Clark Kent taking off his glasses to reveal he's Superman. Absolutely stupid and lazy. I told you guys, the names in this game are kind of whack. Now my blood pressure has gone up from thinking about this stupid maggot Morgoth name twist. His lore is pretty sad, though. Cursed as an omen, he swore to protect the Erd Tree, even though it wouldn't accept him. I wouldn't accept someone wow. that ugly either. Seriously, though, when he looks that unique, and when his alias name literally sounds like his actual name, how did Surprise. he hide his identity as the veiled monarch of Lanedil? Surprise. Well, the veil obviously made everyone around him a stupid fucking moron, it seems. The yeah. things we do for love and acceptance, eh? For Morgoth to keep going despite being cast out and rejected, I'll give him an A. Well, he better what? get used to more rejection because I'm rejecting him from this list, D tier. Max. He's not a D. No, not D. Because the alias aspect is ridiculous. I'll C give him would be more I'm voted reasonable. by the Democrats again. Now we have a, you're really putting him in a fucking he's in B tier, bro. The child kidnapper, aka Joe Biden. God uh, th damn. Uh, this boss overall, it's interesting, but it's it's really annoying. The way you get to the boss is really annoying as well. Um, but if we're gonna just say strictly, how do you feel about this boss? I would also say B tier, but I'm giving it a higher B. Then Mar God, more God, whatever the fuck. This is a higher B than them. This is the highest B. I don't want to put him in A because he is really frustrating and annoying. But B, I definitely think he deserves that. Oh damn it! Enough of those High jokes B. today. What jokes? I'm pretty sure I was <laughs> under leveled for this boss, and nah, then the second phase happens, not. and I realize I'm super duper under leveled, <laughs> even with the purifying crystal. Isn't it really creepy how Moog was in that cocoon with Michaela until we arrived? What do you think went on in there? Tell me slowly. I don't want to think about that. Creepy. Not much is known about Moog or why he wants to do incest. Sometimes people can't help what they want. Okay then, Don. True. I think the level and area was real cool. Boss fight was interesting. It was all right. Blood and fire kept yeah, splashing right. me in my face. I don't know how to feel about that. B. 
I Overall, mean, though, I feel I mean, like we'll learn more about him and Mikella in the DLC. So for now, I'll put him in the B tier. B for the ugly blood lord is fine by me. Me too. But now it's time. Oh my god, when I've been waiting for this. S tier. Everybody's gonna put in S tier. Oh, she's so beautiful. Melania, the blade, blah, 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 whatever the fuck. Overall, I think the boss itself is it's interesting. The waterfall dance is fucking annoying. But it's an interesting boss fight. The second phase of the boss fight, I think, is wild. Um, it can be very frustrating. But at the same time, there is a sense of satisfaction of beating her because of all the hype, all the fanboys that love her, and just overall the lore about this character. I think would definitely certify it as an A tier for me, but I know it's going to go in the S tier because of the fanboys. Nah, that's not even a fun. Time for the Scarlet Queen herself. Millennia is so hot for real. I'd love to go dunk her on that. All right, what the Ew. fuck? Ew. Do you ever think about what you say? I feel like you should use dung eater more as a term. Just slips off the tongue nicely. Dung eater. Dung eater and slips off the tongue shouldn't ever be used in the same sentence. Dung eater. Ha <laughs> you're right. Dung eater. <laughs> Jesus. Fine. Dung eater. I feel like a dung eater when I eat my wife's cooking. Am I right, lads? <laughs> wow. Nah, but for real though, call me Scarlet Dung Eater. That's probably not healthy. She has the scarlet rot. Ah, that's fine. I've had chlamydia several times, not a big deal. For fuck's sake. How about we hey. focus on the boss fight? What boss fight? Lazy Yaki still hasn't patched it. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't you guys have the bug where she keeps healing herself? This fucking guy. Don. What? That's not a bug. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? D tier. Has Zakowski lost his fucking mind? <laughs> a true test of a soul's player. Millennia is another kind of trauma like Ornstein. And you know what's Ornstein. funny? I didn't even know she healed herself. That's crazy. Oh, I Never know. noticed. Ever. Elden Ring had some pretty busted bitch weapons making people cheese her. But for people who weren't cow- What about the guy that's the- Let me solo her. He didn't cheat. He just beat her ass with skill. And then you can say cheese, but it's an RPG. People are going to play different. Like, I never understood this. Oh, you're playing bad. You're playing lame. Some people use wizards. Some people use fucking big, great axe, no clothes. Some people use big, great axe, fat roll. Some people use double shields, big armor. Stop. I'm so tired of hearing people say, you play this, you play that. Shut up. Shut up. It's an RPG. Cowards like the magic and bleed pussies. She was definitely one of the hardest bosses ever. I refuse to believe it was an intended game design. Fake news, it's a bug. What's interesting is that her being able to heal doesn't really make sense in the lore. She's suffering from scarlet rot. Yeah, she should Why be slowly dying. Why didn't heal himself during his boss fight? Maybe we'll find out in the DLC. Doubt it. Perhaps Mikella did something to allow her to heal, alleviating her scarlet rot pain. Yeah, maybe the power of the unalloyed needle did something. Or maybe that's why Mikella is with the Lord of Blood, because he sacrificed everything to try to save his sister. All right, man, put the motherfucking character in S tier. All right, Don, it's a bug. Thank you. Got to be high S tier, right? Iconic optional boss fight, goddess of rot, amazing lore with rot on. She literally changed the landscape of the game via Kaled. Yawn. She's what... <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> Has to be S. Well said, Joe. Been a while since I felt so proud after beating a boss. Yeah, give her you an do S. get a sense Plug of pride of fighting her. Sexy girl. I'll give it an A, even if the fight is pure scarlet dung. Top of S rank for All right. it is. Good work, guys. Unfortunately, Hospital I have an appointment. appointment with the doctors about my hallucinations. Uh -oh. They said me calling everyone an AI is not healthy, so I have to go now. That's fine, buddy. We can finish hey. the rest of this tier list tomorrow. Hope everything hey. goes well. Yeah, Joe. Good luck. I'm sure everything will be all right, bro. Thanks. All right. Let's finish this shit. Back, boys. Let's finish up this tier list. I'm ready and I'm feeling good. Glad the doctor's appointment went well, Joe. Yeah, glad to see those crazy pills are working. The sun is shining, <laughs> the birds are chirping, the voices are telling me to keep moving forward. That's the word. I keep Hit moving those forward until my... Until another child feels unsafe. Okay, okay, now we have eight bosses to get through, so we will have enough time to rank them and meet up with Miyazaki at the pub after... He's such a party animal. I worry we're encouraging his serious drinking problem. It's fine. He's built different. Does he really Let's have a drinking problem? The regal ancestor spirit. The what now? Uh, the regal ancestor spirit. Beautiful location. Um, interesting way to get to the boss fight. 
Uh, the boss fight itself overall is cool. Is it A tier cool? I'm not too sure. I could put it in B, but I can also see why people would put it in A. Don't tell me your casual ass missed this boss. How am I supposed to remember <laughs> all 500 names of the bosses I killed, <laughs> especially when I killed them all first? Time? Well, to be honest, you you killed the black bird like eight times, so you're good. <laughs> I haven't seen such a bullshit cap since the red one you used to wear. Joe Mama. Ah! Your wives. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh -oh. Yeah, exactly, Don. What? This majestic undead deer oh, was dear. so enchanting to watch pop <laughs> in the sky. Yeah. It's almost a tragedy I had to kill it. What I don't get is 15 remembrances. 14 of them are extremely memorable, either mm. being shard bearers or required for different endings. Then there's this deer. Why does it have a remembrance? It's obvious Mia no must idea. be a furry. I guess because of its unique design and representation yeah. of life and spirit ashes, which are important. Okay, Maybe we'll see more that. ancestor spirits in the DLC. Just say you don't know instead of yeah, going yeah. on a stupid yawn and yeah. a tangent. <laughs> you look like a tangent. A what? A tangerine. A tangerine. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a fruit. A what? God damn it. Oh what? Anyways, I'll give yeah, you bro. Time. Donald Trump be inviting freaking athletes to the White House, and all they have to eat is McDonald's and pizza. The C for its insignificance. An easy boss fight. Cool design, though. I want to give it a B and hug him. A C because I can't remember it. <laughs> All right, then, now we have the fire giant. I love these fire giants. See. Great workers. Bet they could help. Fire giant is so annoying, bro. So freaking annoying. The fight itself is whatever. It's just that he's guarding the most important plot of the game. He looks cool, but he's whatever, bro. He is also, a, if you're going to put the fucking deer in C tier, this motherfucker got to go in C tier too. And I would not be surprised if he's even put in D tier. Let me build lots of walls to keep the illegal albinorics out. This was the what? last fire giant cursed to tend the flame after losing oh the war God. against Marika and the Golden Order. The giants lost. Blah, the wars, blah. I mean, loser fire giants. Cool design, but the boss <laughs> fight was pretty lackluster. The lost giant in Dark Souls 2 was better. Yeah, Just I a said bunch it. of ankle smashing. Was cool as hell, though, to see him rip his own leg off. I love that dedication <laughs> to their craft. Good workers. Kind of sad he didn't even have a name. He's just Fire Giant. So many <laughs> random stupid names in the game, and they just decided, let's call this one Fire Giant. Lazy, <laughs> let's call him Dave. Okay, well, I give Dave a C. It's always okay. exciting to fight giants. Cool midway twist of ripping eh. his leg off. Eh. But the boss fight itself could have been better. We'll never forget you, Dave. C tier. I agree with the C tier. Nice, C it is. Now, here's one of my personal favorite bosses. Mal Ooh, Wolf Boy, Wolf Boy, Wolf Boy, Wolf Boy. He is very cool. He is challenging. Uh, he's flipping around, doing all this other crazy shit. And, and uh, the second half of the fight, first half is kind of cool. It's like more uh, visceral, more violent. He is, you know, using his animal instincts. Uh, cool armor when you kill him. Cool weapon. I would, I, I would not, yeah, A tier. I would say A tier. He is, he is a really good boss. He is annoying, but he is really Malaketh, good. Malaketh, the Black Blade. An unending hunger to consume and eat. Didn't know Don was in this game. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you can feed him death root and get a different dialogue during the boss fight, which I thought was cool. Yeah. The fight kind of reminded me of the ape from Sekiro just because of Malaketh's sheer agility, unique animations, and yeah, I guess, movement. yeah, sure. Yeah, and I really appreciate how unique each phase was. Almost like fighting two different bosses. Can tell a lot of love and work went yeah. into Malaketh. Marika wanted a world without destined death, and it led to Malaketh's sword holding the power of the rune of death. There wasn't a single being Joe. that didn't fear his power. And Nobody cares. Yeah, There's exactly. A tier. What's funny is Storm the Tarnished shouldn't be able to respawn if they lose against Malaketh and his death blade. Nice, yeah. another lazy plot hole. Kind of hard to separate <laughs> lore and gameplay. Do you want yeah, them to delete is. your save file once you... Fuck no. Death? Sure, why not? Wouldn't bother me since I never lose. Easy fight, cool arm, Bro. and I want his sword. <laughs> he gets an A from me. And yeah, crumbling Pharaoh Missoula was a sight for sore eyes. Amazing area and level. Very important. Okay, lore. what's that got to do with the Great boss? boss fight. Agree that it has to be an A tier at least. Looks like we got a unanimous A for the black blade. I heard Michelle say you have a black blade in your pants Shut too. the fuck up, bitch. Michelle won't <laughs> talk to you. All right. Shut up, next? Top team. It is the cosmic. Yeah, he fixed it. Or somebody else did a tier list, and they were putting like, "Oh, the best one all the way over here," which doesn't make it. Atrocity. Oh Lord. Estelle. Uh, Estelle. 
Uh, shit, Gravity Worm Boy. Uh, fucking annoying. Cool design, cool area. The the attacks are cool. I mean, the gravity fucking yeah. Um, I don't see. I don't. I I think B tier, high B tier, or low A tier. He's a he's a good fight. He is a good fight. He's challenging. Natural he's a good fight. The void. Shit, boss. Reused and copy pasted. D tier. I thought you liked the Damn. reused bosses. You said it's good business. You said it's good business. Great boss. S tier. <laughs> Cost efficiency for expensive assets. Smart work. A tier. The okay. Was also reused. <laughs> Wonderful. I need to hire Mia for my own businesses. Yeah, maybe they'd start being successful. Shut the fuck up Damn. again. Stay mad. Don't care. Plus didn't ask. Plus cry about it. Plus get real. Plus L. Plus mauled Seath Cope harder. Plus hose mad. Plus basic. Plus skill issue. Plus ratio. Plus you fell off. Plus the audacity. Plus triggered. Plus get a life. Yo! Oh! Yo! In your face, Joe. What? Hush mode. How are you? I Hush mode. The Eternal City and stole its night sky. What an epic concept. Yeah, go talk about the lore, old man. Vibes from this boss. Yeah, this cosmic horror really took me back to those good old Bloodborne days. The fact that there's more than one also has terrifying implications. Who knows how many more are out there and what it all means for the fate of the lands between. And as we know, Radon was the star scourge, conqueror of the stars. Maybe all this time he was keeping these cosmic star monstrosities at bay, protecting the world. But without him, it looks like Elden Ring is about to become space invaders. There's a perfect <laughs> illegal alien joke here, but I used it all up earlier with the Albinorix line. It's okay, Don. You'll get them next time. Thanks, bro. <laughs> so much mystery behind these beings. I love its yeah. design and the implications of it all. So A tier? Great unexpected boss fight. Okay. Really hope we learn more about these cosmic beings in the future. I'm fine with that. Your boss, just under I'm fine with that. That's good for I'm me. That's good for me. Jinx. Didn't ask. Next Didn't up ask. Is Lich Dragon 40 sacks. 40 sacks. Uh, the Lich Dragon. Um, cool. Fucking amazing atmosphere. The shock factor alone. The abilities. It's a great ass boss fight, not gonna lie. It is a great boss. Frustrating. I'm not surprised if this goes in S tier. I'm not going to lie. I am not surprised. Strong A tier. I think this even goes above Wolf Boy. Honestly. I think so. What kind of name is 40 sacks? I ought to drop my one sack onto Miyazaki's mouth for this bullshit. Are you okay, what? Donald? Extra cranky today because his wife didn't peg him last night. Miyazaki's uh, wife owes me 40 sucks for this bullshit. Jesus Christ, Don, you can't say shit like that. Yo. Let me solo her if you know what I mean. Stop. I yo. Swear if other people heard the stupid shit that comes out your mouth, you'd be canceled. I can't. I mean, he still voted president, though. Canceled. <laughs> liberal snowflakes only make me stronger. I didn't get canceled. <laughs> I remember my favorite show, Rusty and the Cherry Bloom, got canceled. Well, it didn't really is... get canceled, but the actor was brutally murdered back in 1723. They didn't have TV what? shows back then, Joe. You might never see a different doctor. <laughs> also, Barack, you gotta relax. No one's getting canceled. It's just locker room talk. Hearing you say yeah, that, yeah, locker room talk. It even worse. The mighty dragon. <laughs> Grab her by the. <laughs> and Fortisax had an epic battle against Godwin the Golden. Unfortunately, Fortisax was with defeated. The lore, bro. And yet, in a twist of events, this made Fortisax respect Godwin, and they became friends. What a cute story. Just what like us. Story. I've never heard of such a submissive dragon in my life. What makes their <laughs> friendship even more beautiful is that when Godwin was assassinated, Fortisax lamented and mourned his dear friend and yeah. desperately tried to Bad. fight against the death blight. And in typical Aww. From Software fashion, when someone tries to do the right thing, they end up they getting get corrupted. Fucked. Truly tragic. <laughs> I can't really relate to getting corrupted. No one in our profession sure. can ever be corrupt. I have to sure. give this a low eight. Lore was wonderfully explained by Joe, and okay. the fight was cool. Okay. Although there's a lot of dragon bosses in this game. There is. The there is. I there think is. for the lore and epic. No, lore, bro. Cannot put him in B, bro. He got to be Paul, A. It should be low A. Yeah, sure. I agree. Another dragon boss. Great business. Reusing the same idea. Reuse. <laughs> All right. Now it's time for Placidus X. Now you're just making. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, dragon bosses. Um, okay, yeah. B, B tier names and bosses up dragons ruled the world long before the erd tree and placidus sax was its elden lord you keep saying that word plasu plasu dick sack plastic sack, <laughs> plasu, play sex, 
Pakistan. It's okay, Pakistan. You can do it. Shut up. I love this game, but I care about the people. People with dyslexia. This is not good for them. Not inclusive. D tier oh. boss. Oh. Queen Marika arrived to bring okay. a new age, which led to the war between the dragons and Golden Order. Yo. The dragons would end up losing. Wow, an outsider god comes along and tries to overthrow the dragon regime and make them all go extinct. Such an original from software story. <laughs> this defeat led to the god of dragons to run away, which made Placidus Ax wait for him outside of time itself. Well, all that does sound cool, but I know you're just fucking with me. He's not. <laughs> the boss is hard to find, but man, oh man, when you do, what a showdown. What a level. What lore. I'll give this a high A for sure. I have the greatest vision of all, Hawk Vision. I'm an eagle. There's Hawk no vision. way I'd miss a friggin' dragon. Well, the dragon literally exists outside of time and space. Joe's almost out of time as well. It's time <laughs> to shut up and give this an A. We'll put it on it's A. Time to shut up. I didn't even see this plastic sack of shit boss. Top of eight for the dragon Elden Lord. Now we have one of my personal faves. Yep, it's time for Horalu. Seriously, what the fuck is that name? Horalu? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, first phase, fun. Second phase, that cinematic was lazy as fuck. Fade the black bullshit, whatever. But the fight itself and the lore, whatever. The the okay. The run at you, pick you up, slam you. I'm thinking A tier for this boss as well. Just call him Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Horlu, the Horlu, first Horlu, Elden Horlu, Lord. Horlu. So stupid. I love this boss fight for many, many reasons. Whore are loose. Whores are loose. Wait, whores are loose. That's a great name. S tier boss for me. You're cute, aren't you? <laughs> Bitch, I'm adorable. First Bitch, I'm Lord adorable. Lord started off as a mortal, but his badassery got him promoted to demigod. Uh, Insatiable damn. lust for battle, so he took the lion Sirash on his back to suppress these urges. He's an all round alpha. A pure warrior. I'm pretty sure Miyazaki took me as inspiration for Godfrey. First Elden Lord and Chill. first Tarnished. One of, if not the most prominent and significant boss in the whole game. He's my true final boss of Elden Lord. I mean, Lord. this could go in S tier. That's the fine. Whole game, we're fighting monsters, beasts, epic swordsmen, powerful And then mages, you just fight a man. Dragons, and then Godfrey says, forget all that. And I'm just a man. And his bare hands for his second phase. Yeah. Truly remarkable. Beast. Yeah, I gotta Beast. give more loose respect for that. But to keep it fair... I also fought him unarmed and won. Despite okay. him trying Sirash to unleash his full bloodlust, it was not enough, and we were able to win and become the new tarnished champion. So cool. I think he may Yet have we been. will never look as cool as him. Highest S tier just for well everything. Listen, okay. I'm an alpha guy. He's an sure. alpha guy. But I'm okay S with him up highest? Me too. All right then, lads. Okay. Well right. that leaves well, us shit. with the final Fine. remembrance and the actual All final right. boss. Oh my god, I think it would have been better if you put the first phase picture instead of this fucking worm. Okay, Thor is a beast. That fight was badass. Just for the second phase to be a giant worm that flies around and shoots bullshit at you. First phase, I would have given an A. Second phase, I would give it a C. Even though it's the final boss and they usually give brownie points. So let's go ahead and give him a high B or a low A and call it a day. Radagon and the Elden Beast. Was all right. Another sword fight and then another running around against a dragon sperm hallucinogenia looking thing. <laughs> Radagon assumes control dragon of Marika's sperm. body and tries to fight the tarnished but fails. Then the Elden Beast emerges from Radagon, <laughs> turning him into a sword and is defeated once more. Radagon fails as a man, fails as a woman, <laughs> and fails as a sword. What a it was loser. cool to see the living embodiment of the Elden Ring. I mm, wonder what made really. them decide on it to look like the Elden Beast. Obviously, lots of drugs and alcohol, Joe. Come on. You're acting like you don't know Mia. Well, I'll give this <laughs> boss a B. High B works for me. Standard yeah. boss mechanics, but the lore and intrigue makes it good. High B it is. All right. Cool. Sheesh. I'm fine Even with, with this. all the copy pasted bosses all over the map. This game still has some of the greatest mm. bosses overall in any FromSoft game. Um, bro, did you not play fucking Dark Souls 3, bro? Agreed. So what? much personality and uniqueness in each of these bosses. What? And we're still missing a lot of other unique bosses from the list as well. I can't imagine how good the DLC bosses will be, considering the best bosses are always in DLCs. Seems a given bro. that after Elden Ring's DLC, we'll have to update our Soulsborne list and put it up to an S. Hell, Hell yeah. Not. 
I mean, well, this game. this AI shit really did make your channel blow up, clone game. So I wouldn't be surprised if you made like two or three more videos about it. I mean, I wouldn't mind either. I'll just react to them. But overall, it was good videos. Um, good actual um, scripting with like their conversations in between. Joe talking about the, the, the fucking lore. I'm surprised he even remembers any of that shit. He's supposed to be sleeping all the time. How the fuck does he know that? <laughs> but yeah, this is a great video, man. Great video. Shout out Clone Games. See you guys next time. Peace.